Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Sunset by Marquez Houston. And it's going to start, actually, we're going to end up moving this for key, actually, all the way up to 5th fret later with the capo. But just to work all this in root position, we're going to start on an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the 1st fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the 2nd fret, third finger is going to go to the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go into a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the, on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you stroke just the D to the high E, that sounds a like D major chord. It sounds really, really heavy. And then from the D major, we're going to go to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go on the low E on the third fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all of those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And when you play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And the whole song actually is just those four chords. So our, our main progression through the tune is going to be that A minor, D. G major, C major, A minor, D major, G major, G major. But a lot of times with this song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. So through the tune, it really sounds like you could work it all of a kind of a down, up, 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 down, up. So if we try that, we'd have down, up, up. sound very cool is to kind of do that first down up and then kill the strings with, with, with your right hand and then do the up, up, down, up at the end. So you may want to think of it as kind of a down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up. So we try that through our chord progression that we got A minor down, up, kill it, up, up, down, D, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, C, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, A minor, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, D, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, G, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up. So that's a lot of our song, and we'll kind of talk about that when we, we, we capo up. Now a couple other things I would think about using, like through through it, are kind of some different voicings for those chords. So just to go ahead and go over some other ways to play these chords. Instead of the A minor chord, what it really sounds like in the recording is something called A minor seven, which is actually even easier than A minor because all you have to do is lift off your third finger from the G string, and now I've just got first finger on the B on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor seven chord. That sounds really really happy. Or, or in a way. And then from the D, or on the D major chord, this is really cool a chord that, that, that you kind of start on and then kind of go to the D major. And it's called D sus. And the way you play D sus is if you're taking D major and kind of take your pinky and go to the high E string on the third fret, you kind of strum the top four strings with that, that's called a D sus or a D sustain. And, and it almost sounds like we kind of start on the D for the down, up, kill it, but then go to D major for the up, up, down, up. So we'd have D sus with down, up, kill it, D up, up, down, up, D sus, down, up, kill it, D up, up, down, up. It's kind of a cool little D lick. And then on the G major chord, it's more straight up where we got that down, up, 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 down, up. But on the C chord, you may want to substitute in something called C major 7, which is even easier to play than C. So if you take the C major we're doing right now and kind of lift off your first finger, and that's called C major 7, which sounds really groovy heavy. And so now I got just second finger on the D string, second, third finger on the A string on the third, and kind of doing just the C major 7. So you may want to substitute that in. And actually on the D chords too, and instead of just that, that D sus D major idea, another way to do those two chords actually, then this is really kind of cool, it's kind of working off the C shape that we started with. So if you took your C shape, like kind of your C major, the whole C major with first finger on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second, third on the A on the third, 
and you slid that over two frets, so now you'd be on third fret and fourth fret and fifth fret with kind of that shape. So now I got first finger on the B string on the third fret, second finger on the D on the fourth fret, third finger on the A on the fifth. That's another way to play D major, it's something called D major 11 or D major 9. We're playing the root and the third and, and what would be called the 11 or the fourth of the chord and then the root and then the 9. So, so it's eh, several different names to come up with that. And what, one way that you could play D sus is to take the pinky from where you are and kind of go to the D string on the fifth fret. So, so, so now I've got first finger on the B string on the third fret, second finger on the D on the fourth, third finger on the A on the fifth, and pinky on the D on the fifth. And that's another way to kind of play your, your D with D sus and then kind of lift off the pinky for the D major. The D sus with the down, up, kill it, and the D with the up, up, down. So we tried using some of those chords through the tune. We have A minor with the down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up, D sus, down, up, kill it, D on the up, up, down, G on the down, up, kill it, up, up, down, C on the down, up, 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 down, A minor 7, down, up, 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 down, up, D sus, down, up, kill it, up. So that might be something else you want to kind of try and add through the tune. Now the weird thing is to play along with Marquez Houston. Um, the, instead of starting on an A minor, he's actually starting on a D minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo and go to fifth fret across the entire guitar, then now your A minor chord is really a D minor chord. The D major is really an F major. And then the G major is really a C major. And the C major is really an F major. But if we took it from the very, very beginning that way, we'd have the A minor with the down, up, kill it, up, up, down, D, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, G, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, C, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, A minor, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, D, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, G, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, G, down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up. And then on our first, we just keep that going. So we have A minor. pre-chorus but we actually start that same progression so we got A minor down up kill it up up down D down up kill it up up down G down up kill it up up down C down up kill it up up down A minor down up kill it up up down D down up kill it up up down G down up kill it up up down and then there's kind of this big just D with a down kill it kind of at the end of our pre-chorus the first pre-chorus and then there's this really cool funk guitar part that kind of comes in, kind of a lead part. It's a little piece of what would have been the C chord. Where, and I'm thinking real frets here. So if you go 12th fret on the high E with the first finger, 13th fret on the B string on the uh, on the B, or yeah, 13 on the B. You can kind of take that as a little piece of a, of a C chord and go down up, 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 down up. It's kind of a punctuation to kind of lead you into the chorus and on the chorus we're doing that same thing so we got that down up kill it up up down D down up kill it up up down G down up kill it up up down C down up kill it up up down A minor down up kill it up up down D sus down up kill it up up down G down up kill it up up down G down up kill it up up down A minor down up kill it up up down D down up kill it up
just parse through the rest of the tune. Now one other thing that, that I would think about adding though is kind of adding in bass notes to, to, to kind of the chords. So with our strum pattern right now, we're doing down, up, kill it, up, up, down, up. Bass, up, kill it, up, up, down, up. So just to try that, like on the A minor, you do the A string for your bass on your A minor chord. So A minor with A bass, down, up, kill it, up, down, up. A minor with A bass, down, up, kill it, up, down, up. A minor with A bass, down, up, kill it, up, down, up. A minor with A bass, down, up, kill it, up, down. A minor with A bass, down, up, kill it, up, down. And then on the D chord, you have the D string for your bass if you do the regular D on the top four strings. But if you're doing the D add four, right, kind of the C shape D, then your bass is going to be on the A string. So that can be kind of a cool thing. Get that bass up on the sus, and then switch over to the D for the up down. So bass up, 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 down, up, bass up, 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 down, up, bass up, 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 down, up. And then you get your G, let's see G with the low E bass. Sunset by Marquez Houston. So good luck!